to another episode of Pirate Sports Talk with Doug and Mike. Uh, this is a really special episode because we have a graphic. Yes, and I noticed the name of the show has changed, Doug. And it, yes, yes, it, it used has. to be the Mike and Doug show. Yes. Uh, Mike getting top billing, being me. You now change the show to Doug and Mike. Well, because I am the host and you're Good the co-host. Good point. But, but um, I guess, well. We can't change the graphic now. We could. I think I like it. I, I think too, we stick with, with the it. hockey stick, but the only problem is it says, it says Pittsburgh Penguins on the I hockey stick. I think we stick. stick with Doug and Mike show now. I think I like it. Okay. All right. Um, and then uh, before we get started, there are some new ed- there are going to be some new edits that are going to go in here too. Uh, on on Final Cut, um, Mr. Rettler showed me some new stuff we can put on there. So I'm going to put some new stuff on there. So please stay tuned for that. Great. Love to have your feedback on that. How you like it? Yes. Please comment on that. We haven't had really people commenting, and the view has been really down. So we need to get more views. We do. Okay. We need, do need to get more okay. views. We'll do that. Get that on Twitter. Retweets. Appreciate it. Perfect. Outstanding. All right. And before we start, I'm give another shout out to Chris Learman, who does all Bayport games on NEW Sports Radio. If you do have Twitter and during the game, you can tweet the booth at Voice of BP or at NEW Sports Radio and tell him where you may be listening from, and he will shout you out. Yes, you will. Or I will. Did you have many again on the game you had? We had a lot of listeners to our uh, girls' basketball game last Saturday, the sectional final, which I'm thinking you'll talk about, mm-hmm. Doug. And uh, it was a great basketball game. We have a Bayport game up on the short end, but you'll be given the results of that game here shortly. Yeah, I'm going to start right now. So we're okay. start with the girls' basketball. Uh, the uh, the number two seed played played the number one seed Arrowhead at Sheboygan South High School uh, for the chance to make state next week, which is at the Rush Center. And unfortunately, Arrowhead beat the Pirates 49 to 34 in that game. Low scoring game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for basketball, they just kind of lose. Both teams played great defense throughout the game. Yeah, and it and it shows in the score at forty nine to thirty four. Shows some, I'm sure there was great defense and stuff. Uh, what did you see from that game that you liked besides the defense? Two very good teams. Arrowhead a little bit uh, older than us. Played a lot of seniors. In our case, uh, uh, we are a young team, and um, the game was very physical in nature. The referees allowed both teams to play. I think that benefited possibly Arrowhead more, but I don't know if that d- indicated the outcome of the game. But uh, two very good teams. Uh, Arrowhead's the number one ranked team going into the state tournament now this weekend, so they're considered the best team in the state of Wisconsin, and our girls gave them everything they could handle and really had an outstanding season. Yeah, uh, do you think Arrowhead would have a, would have any chance to win state tournament? I think Arrowhead's got a real good chance to win the state championship this weekend, and we'll talk about that maybe uh, next week when we are on the show again. The Doug and Mike show. Yes. Yes. Yes, we'll have to talk about that. All right. Uh, but even though they did, they did lost, they can't, they can't feel too bad about what happened because they had some really great accomplishments this year. Uh, they finished uh, They finished higher uh, than seventh in the FRCC Fox River Classic Conference. Uh, they were picked to finish seventh. Correct. Uh, and then the sectional runner-up in 2017-18, uh, and then their conference champions since 2004. Correct. Uh, and then regional champions since 2008. And then sectional final uh, since 2003. Yeah, Coach Coleman uh, just did a great job with that team, and they really came together as a team. And like you said, conference champs, uh, one game away from playing in the state championship this weekend at the Rush Center. So they should hold their heads high as they represented Bayport very well this year. They did, yeah. They played really well. And then um, and then just want to say good luck to all the seniors that are leaving this year to move on to better pasture. So. Yep. Outstanding. Uh, and then again, here are some honorable mentions from here. So we have Elena Abel, all defensive team, and honorable mention. Uh, Maddie Drake, an honorable mention. Uh, Emma Nagel, first team. Mackenzie Johnson, second team. And then Katie Coleman, the staff coach of the year. Yes. Well deserved. Yes, it was well deserved. Then we're going to go on to boys basketball. Now they're moving on to the sectionals. They are tomorrow night in Manitowoc. And you know what famous person. Grew up in Manitowoc, don't you, Doug? You, you did. That's correct. I did. So I'll be going back home tomorrow night. We'll be doing the game on NEW Sports Radio. So tune in at about quarter to seven, Chris Learman and myself, to listen to uh, Bayport take on Sussex Hamilton. Are they going to have a big thing for you come back? Are they going to have like, a big party? You'd think they would. I think they should. Yeah, I think they should, too, but probably not. Ah, that's too bad. Hopefully I my statue's still up, though. Your, your statue? My statue outside the field house where they play. Oh, you have a statue. No, I'm making that up, actually. Doug. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I thought you were actually serious. No, I wasn't. Second. I actually made that one up. Oh, that yeah. was good, because I believed you for a well, second. Thanks. Thanks. I have a tendency to do that from time to time, make stuff up like that. Okay. Okay. 
All right, uh, they beat Menominee Falls uh, 90 to 74 to take the regional champions. Outstanding game right here at Bayport High School. And then and then they play Susquehanna uh, Hamilton tomorrow at Manitowoc Lincoln. And then if the Pirates can uh, if they can win out that game, they play on, Mad- on Saturday March 10th, and then they play at Sheboygan South at 1 p.m. Correct. Play the winner of Kettle Moraine and Arrowhead. So. Uh, the Bayport um, Sussex winner will play that game hopefully on Saturday, and NEW Sports Radio will be doing that game as well. And the winner of that will move on to the Kohl Center in Madison for the State Boys Tournament the following weekend. Do you think Arrowhead would, would still pass Kettle Marine? I mean, you know, if, if, even though the girls being so productive, do you think the boys are just as productive? That should be a good basketball game. Uh, Arrowhead's played Kettle Moraine twice this year. They're in the same conference. Kettle Moraine has lost to them two times, both by very narrow margins. And so had a chance to talk to the Kettle Moraine coach uh, last week. He's confident in his ability to beat Arrowhead. So uh, it could be a Bayport Kettle Moraine sectional final from Sheboygan South, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And you're saying with, with playing them for a third time in a row and actually with the girls basketball playing uh, – a preble, or correct? No, yep, yeah. The girls playing preble. You said that the three games is a charm. Well, so it would be three games a charm for Arrowhead. Third game could be a charm for Kettle Moraine, maybe oh, yeah. if they beat yeah. them. And we'll see what happens in that game. That should be a good basketball game. But first, Bayport's got to take care of business tomorrow night, playing a very good, very good, very young Sussex Hamilton team tomorrow night in Manitowoc. Uh, tip off seven p.m. NEW Sports Radio. I'll have to listen in. Yes, please do that, Doug. And I think also that our seniors will have to step up big in this game. I mean, you're playing a younger and a faster team. They have to get the younger guys into it. And yeah, I mean, our, our, do that. our boys team, a little bit different than the girls team. Very senior-dominated team led by Jack Plum, uh, Conference Player of the Year, um, along with a number of other seniors on that team. And so you just want to see their season continue so they can continue to play some basketball for Bayport here. But tournament time is always difficult because someone loses, and sometimes that's the last time they'll play an organized game of basketball because their high school career is over and they've chosen not to continue to play in college. And so uh, great time of the year for hoops. College hoops will start up too. So if you're a basketball fan, this is a perfect time of the year for you. Yeah, and then um, some other honorable mentions that I mentioned last week, but we're going to run through them again. We have Ian Melcher, all-defensive team, D. Land Phillips, all-defensive team, and honorable mention, uh, Alec Nagel, honorable mention, Cordell Tinch, first team, and Jack Plum, first team, and player of the year. Jack got a, his thousandth career point in that last game. He did against Notre Dame, last game of the season, last game of the regular season, or maybe second last game of the regular season. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, Jackson, outstanding job. He's played on the varsity since freshman year, and hopefully he continues to lead the Pirates here on their march to Madison. I think wherever he goes, he's going to lead that team offensively. I would agree. And, and defensively, too. Rebound and block shots. Yeah. He's just a good kid, good, would solid you, kid. Would you see, um, I think it was Cordell's, a block, he jumped up to block it away. Yeah, like, Cordell's holy, holy. fantastic athlete. Uh, he dunks the basketball like you're watching an NBA game. And yeah. so the excitement that he brings to the crowd is truly absolutely crazy and electric. And so hopefully we see some of those things tomorrow night as well. Yeah. So uh, do you have anything else? No, that's it. We'll wrap sports? it up here. And we'll hopefully uh, bring home a sectional championship for the boys. And then we'll stalk a little spring sports Yeah. next week. We'll cover softball and track and Baseball and golf, and uh, maybe Mr. Bookinger is going to be on. You you mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk to him one of these days. Outstanding. And so uh, we'll wrap it up, and we'll see him next week. Yeah, well, and then baseball, too, if you guys are big Brewers fans, uh, they lost yesterday to the White Sox 6-4. to four. Spring training, though, Doug. Yeah. So, you know, regular season, we'll be okay. I hope so. We've got a Euchre bobblehead right here. We do, yeah. we have. Yeah, I, I hope you like the setup we have. We've got a, a baseball hat, a baseball, and then some other ones here. And then even uh, – a Ty Conklin, he's an ex-Red Wing goalie. He is? Yeah. Wow. He played in the 90s. He's, he's very well. Very cool. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that's all the time we have here on Pirate Sports Talk with Doug and Mike. We'll see you next time.